look at the consistency of the joint fluid. Is it what I'd expect healthy joint fluid to look like on an ultrasound? Or are there some signs of inflammation that are starting to return? Basically like using an iPhone and taking a picture on an iPhone. Uh, it's very easy to store them and send them and document what you're seeing on the exams. This is Augusta Pines Farm, which is about an hour north of Houston, where Clayton Smith, who's a doctor of veterinary medicine, has been using the V-Scan Air since early 2022 for his equine practice. And today, Clayton's going to be doing a treatment on a warm blood horse called Drake. And here he is. Hey, Welcome. how's it going, Clayton? Welcome. Bit of a uh, COVID handshake here. Yeah, you bet. Where is the handsome fella? Yeah, come in here and meet him. Let's do an exam on him. When we see asymmetry, then we know there's a lameness of some kind, and it can be front or hind limbs. A lot of lamenesses are difficult to diagnose on the ground without somebody on their back riding them. So we can pick up on some of the things that maybe are too subtle to see on the ground. What got you into ultrasound? The sports medicine aspect of, of equine practice has always been the most appealing to me. Um, I enjoy it the most. It's definitely the thing I wake up each morning thinking about is lameness um, or sports medicine. And so this ultrasound is an important tool that we use for diagnostics and that has been going on a while as far as using ultrasound for me. Um, it's pretty incredible to see the change just in my career of the type of equipment that's available for us. Um, I first got out of school, you know, the images that we got were not anywhere compared to what we get today. And what are the types of practices that you use the V-Scan Air frequently for? What I've started using this primarily for is for ultrasound guided injections. When we're injecting the facet joint, we're actually injecting, this is the facet joint in the neck right here. If we're injecting their neck, it's the lower neck facet, so four, five, six, seven. And the reason why I use an ultrasound that right there is a really big blood vessel. And so if, you, if you're if you off and you hit this blood vessel, this horse is gonna get a, about a basketball size swelling on the side of his neck, or at least a softball. Unfortunately, I've found that out. I'm guiding it right into the facet now. It's right in there. I can feel it hit bone as it hits into that facet. I'm just gonna guide it down into that facet. You see it falling in there. Here's my needle coming into the image right now. So now I'm going to inject it with the anti-inflammatory, and then we're done. There's no cords, obviously, so it's very easy to stay clean, sterile, and be in the correct area with, you know, improve accuracy with injection with an ultrasound-guided injection. This is the primary way I use this now, is for specifically for cervical facet injections and also the SI or the sacroiliac joint injection and I found it to be very helpful and very good in both of these areas. 